What's up, guys? It's the Mighty Zing Fate 500 here with another episode of Let's Play uh, Dynasty Wars 8. Um, since last time, I've, I've learned a few things about the game. Um, as you can see, I've done a few stages here, but uh, there are some uh, what if scenarios, I think, uh, if I remember correct hearing. You can see there's like a star here that says that you, you know, I allowed the enemies to withdraw, enabling this stage here. Um, but if you do something else, which your game doesn't tell you, you can unlock different stages, which is pretty cool. I'll, uh, I'll try my best to show those off uh, later. I'm, I'm gonna bet right now. I'm just gonna do the story as it unfolds, uh, and uh, when I unlock these extra stages, I'll show those off in extra episodes or something, or uh, in another episode. Um, but last time, um, we ended up we defeated Zhang Zhao and the whole Yellow Turban Rebellion, and now we're gonna go head to the um, oh, play stage, play all. I don't even know what the hell this is. Uh, play stage. Okay, so we're gonna go on normal here. Zheng Zhao was defeated due to the efforts of Liu Bei and his sworn brothers, thus bringing an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. However, the land remained in chaos as it began to descend into even deeper confusion and turmoil. Five years following the Yellow Turban Rebellion, a confrontation ensued between the eunuchs and the emperor's relatives within the capital of Liu Yang. Taking advantage, advantage of the commotion, Dong Zhuo, a powerful man from Zhilang, moved to the capital. Once there, he seized custody of the Emperor and made himself Grand Commandment, enabling him to engage in a reign of terror. tyranny. <laughs> Determined to put an end to this lawlessness, Yuan Shao, a nobleman for Abei, made the decision to stop him. By appealing to those across the land, he was able to form an alliance against Dong Zhuo. Liu Bei wished to help the endangered Imperial Court and joined the coalition together with his sworn brothers. There, he also met a brave young warrior by the name of Zhao Yun. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and Zhao Yun, many great men have been drawn to serve by Liu Bei's side. Together, they were determined to defeat Dong Zhuo with their sense of righteousness amidst the cold winds of the Hulao Gate. Okay, so from now on, what I'm going to do for you guys, um, just let me know what character out of the three. I'm going to end the episodes for, uh, basically on the, the next character select screen. So, like... On um, the next level, when I get to choose what characters I want to play as, I'm going to end it there. You guys just let me know what character you'd like me to show off. Um, for today, I'm going to go ahead and play as Guan Yu. Let's equip some weapons here. Do I have anything better? Slash, that's fine. Just man. So I've been I've been learning how to play the game a little better, so I shouldn't be as you know surprised when some crap comes around and destroys me. Um, I got a whole bunch of really cool weapons. What like some horse horsehair whip. I can whip people. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Is there anything else I can use that would be good? It's good with? I guess, uh, dual blade's fine. Sure. No, like, two mans. I can't have that. Boo. No, Tomfus. I don't really like Tomfus. To be honest with you. Striking sword he's pretty good with. So we can go do a heaven here. Cool. Let us, uh, oh wait. He's got to equip some stuff here. Health boost. Oops, I'm going to do an attack boost. Definitely going to need a defense boost. The blade and service of honor shall always prevail. Oh, no, oh, there you have it. So, yeah. Just uh, let me guys know in the comments what character you'd like me to show off in the next episode. So, uh, here is the... Um, the in a lot of games... No, no. no. And a lot of the campaign battles, you'll start off in here in like a camp of some sort, but not every battle. Um, and in these camps, you can talk to a whole bunch of people. You see everybody with the blue arrow, you can talk to. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. This episode, I'm going to kind of skip it. There's a couple of people I know that are pretty fun to talk to. Um, but if you guys want me to talk to every single person in every camp or whatever, just let me know and I'll do that in the next episode. Brother, isn't that amazing? All these people gathered here by Yuan Shao. Yes, although, to be more accurate, the plan appears to be uh, to one belong to one Master Tsao Tsao. Our numbers matter not. All we must do is support our brother's great intentions. You're right, of course. Let's show the power of our sworn brother. Yeah, my voice acting sucks. Whatever. <laughs> I think it's this guy. No. If you talk to this guy with Zhang Fei, it's pretty funny. Zhang Fei would be the worst person to drink with here. He doesn't know when to stop. And if you're Zhang Fei, he's like, Uh, Lord Zhang Fei, please don't kill me. <laughs> Go talk to Zhao Yun over here. My name is Zhao Yun. I fight in the battle under the command of Master Gongsu Gongsu San. 
pleasant greeting. I am Guan Yu, here at the command of my sworn brother, Master Liu Bei. Master Liu Bei, Liu Bei, Liu Bei, I can't ever say his name. Liu Bei, Liu, damn it, whatever. I hear his, I, I said it earlier. Liu Bei, I hear he's a man of great benevolence. I am very happy to be able to fight alongside you. Thank you. Let us defeat the evil Dong Zhuo together. I see. You're here because you want to save the people. Correct. I can trace my ancestry through the Prince Jing of Zhongzhan. Zhongshan. I cannot let this threat to the Han stand. I see. So tell me, Liu Bei, what future do you see in the Han? What exactly do you mean? Brother, we are ready to depart. You there. You strike me as a most remarkable warrior. How about sharing a drink before the battle? My thanks for the offer. At the moment, however, we must concentrate on defeating this tyrant. Indeed. We strike. Now we strike. Defeat the monster Dong Zhua and bring happiness back to the people. If only it was we that must simple. These traitors and restore the glory of the Han Empire. So I learned, um, you know, I didn't mention in the last episode that uh, they got rid of the uh, leveling chart that was in 7 where, like, you got points for killing enemies and generals and then you spent those to upgrade your character by getting, like, attack up and stuff like that. Uh, in this game, it's gone. And in that... And its place is, well, it's just the leveling system that's still there, but you, instead of buying stuff, it's just as you level up. It was, it's kind of like how you did it in, uh, Dynasty Wars 5, I think? No, no, it wasn't 5. 5 had it on their weapons. The Warriors of Rochi game was really the only thing that did that like that. I mean, Dynasty Warriors 4 had the weapons, but they leveled up, that you would, um, you know, get more attacks and stuff get more damage but you still had to find the moose out jars to get more HP and stuff. Oh I'm going the wrong way. This is the South Tower route. Um, but yeah so in this game you don't have to find moose out ups. You don't get attack ups or any of that. They got rid of all the attack up officer drops that you used to get. Um, and in its place you just get money and weapons. That's all I've seen you get is many weapons. There are no attack ups, there are no life ups, it's just experience. Which is fine with me. Um, a few th other things I wanted to explain real quick. I was looking at the skills here. Um, and you can see what it, at the top it says it's health springs adds a bonus to your health gauge recovery. And then condition for learning slash upgrading is uh, defeating an opponent against your weapon. Uh, defeating an opponent against whom your weapon is at an advantage. So each one of these has their own condition for learning and upgrading, and there's all kinds of little skills. And it looks like you can change skills in the middle of battle. Upgrade an officer whose favorite type is to cut out a level 50. So yeah, there, there's all kinds of little like a mounted attack. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I, I I haven't really looked at all those skills. Um. Also, there's this little thing I'll show you here. It's pretty cool. But if, if I let this guy hit me, you can do a counter. And the counter only works if you're switching to a weapon that beats theirs. Oh, yeah. Counters are really good, especially, you know, if you don't want to leave yourself wide open while you're switching attack, like switching stances, which is actually really helpful. I wish I could have done something like that in 7 because of nightmare mode. If you try to switch weapons in the middle of battle while all those peons are around you, you're, you're gonna die. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're Lu Bu, it does not matter. They will just destroy it. It sucks. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Right on, brother. Strong. Best round. Ain't nobody gonna see you that. So strike for the people who like it. Teach you a thing or two about that. Let's, uh, let's use some more moose out. Oh, also, I wanted to say in um, Dynasty Story 7. Huh, moose out for Dynasty Story 7. Um, the way story mode worked was that you would. Get point. You have to play a certain character for every chapter. You didn't get like this game. Get to choose three characters. You're stuck with the game, the one that the game decided you were gonna play as. Um, and as the story went on, the game, if you did story mode, it would give experience points to other characters that you weren't playing as to help you beat the story mode. So like, say I was playing the first level, and I'd play as Liu Bei, and I would have like a thousand something points at the end of it. Well, those points would also transfer to Zhang Fei and transfer to every character that you're going to play as through that story mode. So that's how they, they balanced it out. In this game, since there is no skill tree that is, that is, that is present, um, as you level up, the game just automatically gives some experience that you get from killing enemies to the other characters in story mode. 
So, like, I, didn't, I have not played Guan Yu yet. As you saw in the beginning, I had no skills, no weapons equipped on anything, but he already has two Musao bars, he already has most of his attacks. That's because, uh, as I said, the experience spills over to all the other characters that are in uh, the story mode. So, you you know, that, that really helps quite a bit. Let's go this way. <laughs> I, uh, the first time I did this level, I, well, you'll see. I, I don't think I'm going to try and take on Mubu because uh, he'll murder my face very easily. I uh, thought to try and kill him because I was like, well, he was easy in 7. Like, I could take him on with a fresh character, no problem. Yeah, and then I tried that and he killed me in three shots. Hmm, wasn't too good. As Sandshrew, my, my buddy Sandshrew knows, there's that... that there's a joke between me and him. Whenever that happens, like, when you ever get hit, like, one time and your health just instantly drops to nothing, we, we just automatically start hearing that the defeat song from Dynasty Warriors 3. It's kind of an inside joke. Every time we see, a, like, a massive amount of our HP get taken away, we just play that song in our head. It's like, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's like, damn it. Some of it, it just brings back horrible memories of us trying to fight Lu Bu in Dynasty Warriors 4 in the arena. It just... It was so hard. It wasn't even fair, man. Come here, Hua John. Look how much damage I'm doing. Ugh. So much damage. I love this these new rage missiles. It's so reminiscent of the old Dynasty Warriors missile attacks, which is pretty cool, and I still get to keep my original missiles. You are quite a capable warrior. Oh snap. Uh oh, I think I failed to save one shield. I think he died. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Uh, I think we can maybe can get well. You know what? I better take. Hey, that's not red hair. That's just a crappy mahogany freaking or birch, whatever it is. I think we better go stop those guys in the top right. They're moving towards our base. That is no bueno. I was running my mouth off, and I didn't pay attention that I was. You know, I have a reputation along, among my friends for playing Dynasty Warriors games. I am the peon slayer. I I usually. Do. I will spend forever killing peons. I don't like to rush straight to generals typically, unless I have to. I like to clear like as many peons as I can usually. Um, it's gotten so ridiculous though in the new Dynasty Warriors games. There's so many enemies. I'm like, ah, oh, God, they just keep coming. So thank you for your help. Together. You all night. Yeah, we are. Ah, Zurong, you suck. He countered me. See, that was. Damn it. Stop hitting me. You bastard. Here we have a clash. No, you basically just want to hit square a whole bunch until you win. If you lose it, you lose all your moose out. Oh, you lose everything. Ah, oh, stop countering me, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to kill your friends. Big, big, stop it. Now oh, there goes his counter again. And I'm going to counter your counter. Ha <laughs> ha, eat that, you sucker. I don't have to deal with this bullcrap. I will another victory in the name of my brother. You know what? Screw you guys. Get off of me. Hammering. Stupid Gucci air. Are you going to say your name? Okay, you're dead now. Give me your stuff. Everybody give me your stuff. There you go. Okay. See, if I didn't go save them, or go kill those guys, more than likely, uh, they would have went right up to my allied base, and I would have had to run all the way back there by the time I got the Lubu, and it would have just not been fun. Peons. I'll kill most of you, not all of you. I used to, I mean, I, like, since back in the day on the PS2, there was only about maybe 40 to 50 people on the screen. Now they got like hundreds of them. You know, and it's just kind of hard to keep my attention on one little peon, but back in five, since like I could fit, you know, 30 to 40 people or whatever on a screen at one time, and one moose out would clear them all out, you know, I would do it. In this game, I clear out 100 moose, like minions, and then like 100 more pop up right where they were at. It's like, what the hell? If you can see, I have a little aura there. It's like red. It's the slash element on this weapon, and it's 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 sort of like the Vorpal elementals in the previous Dynasty Warriors games, where you have a chance of instantly killing um, peons, and in generals, it takes a percentage based uh, HP off of their health. Uh, health bar, anyways. And the higher level, the better chance I think it is. I'm not entirely sure on this one. That's how it was in the previous ones. No, this part kind of sucks. Nah, I will kill him anyways. Freaking, I'll strangle him with his own beard. God, he looks so terrible in Dynasty Warriors 6. He's just nasty looking. You know, 
Dongzhua has like one of the, mo like the Mian Sandshrew, the most notorious weapon in Dynasty Warriors 4, I think it was, like 4 and 5. His weapon just looks so painful in 4. It was like this gnarly, like serrated, serrated blade, like just gnarly, it looked all rusted, it, his final level one just looked so painful to get hit by. We're just like, no, I would not want to get hit by that sword. That looks just so, just, like, it wouldn't be a clean cut. It would get caught on everything as he just, like, rips it through you. And I was like, that is just such a perfect weapon for that. He's just crazy. So here, you can't avoid this damage. You're just going to take a lot of damage from arrows, because there's this trap up ahead. And not really a trap, there's a bunch of assholes shooting arrows at you from above. you got to kind of make your way to the center there without getting murdered. You, Tao Jing. I don't like the name. Or Sao Jing, whatever. Stroke my beard. So what I heard, the story mode in this game isn't as theatrical as it was in 7, which is kind of a shame. They do kind of skip over some of the story mode or storylines that they had in Dynasty Warrior 7, which is kind of sad because I liked some of those missions. But, you know, it's whatever. Just a minor um, some people are kind of disappointed by that. Air Musao. So, basically, all the Air Musaos are just that. They're very simple crowd clears. You jump in the air, you do a shockwave. I haven't seen anybody else do another Musao that, that isn't like that. Of all the characters I've played so far, they all do that. You just jump in the air and you basically stab the ground or something like that. And boom, goes to Well, I have one. You're dead. So there, now the arrows have stopped falling on us, and I can go through these gates. But, you know, they're nice enough to give you health if you got hit too many times. Oh, me, bro. It's got, I think blue actually loses. Yeah, he's got red. I look forward to this confrontation. Confrontation to grass! Somebody save me! What? No! I already went over there. Who's who's over there? Is there someone over there? There's one general. Wayne Fang's over there. You really can't beat that dude? Uh, because our morale is so freaking low. Am I really gonna have to run all the way back there to kill the stupid thing? Wing Fong? See, that's when the, some, sometimes the strategy runs plays three in Dining Series games. You can't always get away with running around just, you know, killing whoever gets in your path. Sometimes you gotta defend. Otherwise, the computer just goes all retarded on you and... Uh, I don't know. I probably would be able to get... Um, past... Maybe get far enough into the level to beat it without him dying. Look, he's just running away. Screw that. I... See, he's just running away from Wang Fong now, so it really doesn't matter. So yeah, basically I'm going to do one stage per level um, video, because these levels are pretty long compared to the stages that were in Dynasty 47, at least what I can tell. Ah, you sons of bitch. So ah, damn it! Stop shooting at me! I hate these things. Freaking stop it! Damn. So irritating. Oh my god, you're not even- you're not even near me. Don't even... <laughs> I hate you, you freaking arrows. Die- No, you ballista sons of bitches! Sorry, but I'm going to need you to turn back. Well, it's gonna happen anyways. Alright, cool, they killed it. I don't have to worry about it This thing suck, man. I hate getting hit by that. Liru? Prepare to meet oh, only counterattack your ass. Come on, try to time. I was looking for an Come on, try to hit me. To test my new Don't think so. Counter. Really? You're getting killed by Wang D Wang Fong? Like, he's nobody. Why are you getting killed by this fool? Wang Fang, Wang Tang, whatever. He sucks. I'm not going back to help you. I got other things I gotta do. Cool thing about this this uh, lightning sword here or the slashing sword, as you can see it makes these little slashing marks on the on the screen, and then when you do a, a combo ender, it will le unleash all those combos. Sao Sao died. What? Who is? 
guys suck. I can't believe Sasa, everybody is failing to beat Wang Fang. He's like, a apparently he's got the same strength as freaking, look, a freaking uh, Lu Bu over here or something. Crush me in the face! He should. Hey, we're just getting a little old. All my allies are losing to one pathetic general. Tears. What a waste of my time. You're not even worth so. Not allow your light to be extinguished here. That's right. We must combine our strength and defeat this raging monster. <laughs> Entertain me if you can. Damn it, Lubu. Okay, so if you're a first time player, uh, or like, yeah, first time player of the Dynasty Warrior series. Lubu's an asshole, typically, and he's really hard to beat. Um, he does, look how much damage, just one so oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah, so that can happen sometimes. <laughs> I, pretty, I pretty much have to do the stage over again, which sucks. Um, oh, that sucks ass. Ugh, fucking Lubu. Can't be helped. I'll just meet you guys back. Where I was. Yeah, Lubu, he's kind of an asshole. He does tons of damage. He can just crush you, like, right off the bat. Don't recommend fighting him your first time unless you can... Like, if you, unless you really know what you're doing and you can play footsies with him. But otherwise, don't deal with him. He's just going to crush you. as he did. I wasn't even trying to fight him and he killed me. It's just horse shit. So I'll meet you guys back where I was. Okay, so I'm back here at Hulao Gate, and uh, I got the catapult for this. For some reason, this time I can use the catapult to destroy the gate. Did I hit it? Uh, I looked like I hit it. Can I, destroy, can I destroy those things over there? Where are you guys? Eat my catapult, you son bitch! Did I do anything? Catapult wars! What? What happened to my? What happened to my catapult? What happened to my boulder? It just vanished. <laughs> I did a little bit before. And you over there, stop being so rude. You hit me a couple times, and I wasn't very happy with that. Freaking catapult. I didn't have to do this last time. I hear this like Lu Bu popped up and was like, "Crush these vile pests." Eh, whatever. What a waste of my Fine. time. You're not even worth soiling my blade. Get off. Get out of the way. What the hell? What the heck? Let's, let's turn the catapult this way. Can I jump off now? Thank you. Alright, so this time, let's uh... Let's not fight Lubu. How about that? Does that sound good to you guys? Come on, horse. Get off this stupid freaking cliff. Alright, run away! Do not fight Lubu. I do not want to do this stage all over again. Yeah, that's a good idea. You don't want to fight him. Uh, another good idea is to uh, not fight Diao Chan. Because if you kill her, he's going to get pissed off and he's going to come chase after you. As you saw, it didn't end too well for me. No, I'm leaving you alone, Diao Chan. You can stay here and look at dust. <laughs> I'm going to go kill Fatty McFaddington over here. Aren't you a little fat to be fat? Knock, knock, who's there? You love food. Come here. Damn, I'm hitting that guy from far away. 
So you may notice I'm using a different weapon. Uh, I actually found this weapon off the black, or I bought this weapon off the blacksmith before starting this level, so I'm doing more damage this time. But it's not enough to kill Lulu. I mean, it just hits too hard. It reminds me of freaking Dynasty Warriors 2. Like the first time I run into him, he's just like, "Hey, I'm gonna do it. just absolutely destroy you." Come here, horse. Okay, so apparently there is. If you hit L2 and your horse comes running towards you, and you hit L2 while it's running towards you, you will jump on your horse. It would have been cooler if you were just you hit the L2 button. Oh, excuse me. You hit the L2 button, and then you, if you, as you're running, he runs up and you can jump onto it. But no, you have to actually stop for a second, hit the L2 button as you run towards it, and then he'll jump onto it. I'm like, yeah, I mean, save a couple of seconds, but it would have been cooler if I could have just, you know, keep on running, and then the horse comes to me, and then my character automatically jumps on. That would have been freaking awesome. Yeah, you're fine. It's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Alright, so let's go put it into Dong's Lost Tyranny. Burning places. Yeah, and your health, when you step into traps like this, the ones you can't avoid, your health will always be half. You, you can't do anything about that. When you get, even if I like, get HP back, it's not gonna matter because it's just gonna be half. Like, you'll see, like, I'm gonna pick this up. And it's just gonna lower it right back down to half. Just what the game does. Why well, I lowered it down to a quarter this time? Usually it's like a half of your health. Whatever. You sure know how to fight. I Open this gate. Open it up, I say. My I wish to kill you! I refuse to forgive your Come here, dumb boy. Get out special for you. Shut up, Bobo Bo. I don't want to hear it. Your obsession with power has thrown the land into turmoil. Your reign of tyranny ends. Victory! Just who you think you are? The penalty for defying me is still monologuing over there when I'm already stuck a lightning bolt up your ass. Victory! Alright, um, <laughs> I forgot I didn't hit play all. Um, so, in the next episode here, we have, uh, we're gonna be doing the defense of, Z of the Zhu province. Um, and we can play as Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Jiang Fei. So out of those three, you guys let me know who you want me to play as. I'm going to guess some people are going to be like, play Liu Bei, we haven't seen him yet. Which is fine. Um, so until next time, guys, this is uh, Zhang Fei 500 saying hope you have a good one. Take care. One quick note, guys. Uh, if anybody has Donnie Stories 8 and wants to do an uh, online co-op mode, uh, for a couple recordings or whatever, joining me for some episodes, just let me know, send me a private message or leave a comment down below and I'll uh, see what I can do. So, take it easy.